welcome back to my channel. We are getting into summer skin today. The makeup I do in the spring and summer when it's hotter outside is very, very intentional. I like to make sure that there's SPF so I get protection from the sun. I like to make sure it's comfortable because nobody likes to feel like they're sweating outside with full glam on. But then I also like to make sure that what I do have on will stand up to the heat as much as possible. I definitely have a really good routine going on that's like super pretty. I have been doing foundation free even though we got acne spots, a couple spots here and there that I'm still trying to get rid of. So I'm gonna show you guys my current makeup routine for spring, summer, for the hot weather outside. Let's get this party started. Starting off with a beautiful, clean, fresh face. I just have my skincare on right now. So let me know if you guys would be interested in hearing like my current skincare routine. Also, if you're interested in this hair, baby, how cute is this like side part? It's so cute. Tutorial is already up on TikTok and Instagram, so y'all can go check it out there. But right now, we're, we're focusing on this skin. I also do have on SPF, I use the Unseen Sunscreen by SuperGoopBomb.com. So I just like to start off by doing my brows first, and I have been, listen, I found the brow lady of my dreams. It's still Inga, and um, I think my brows had to go through a little bit of a mini transformation after I stopped laminating them, and now we have arrived, baby. These are my brows, like my natural brows. They've never looked this good before. So I've just been going very, very simple with the brows and just been using a tinted brow gel. And I love that for me. This is the Kos This is the tinted brow gel by Kosas and I absolutely love it. The color I wear is medium brown. Y'all look at how quick and easy that is. Should I want it to look a little bit more sculpted and stuff, I will go in and um, add a little concealer and carve her out. But most days, like today, I just kind of like to just keep them very, very simple and very, very au naturel. Quick and easy, I love that! Of course, as we film, gardeners have magically appeared outside, as usual. So I'm still loving to conceal my dark spots with the NARS Soft Matte Cream Concealer in this concealer pot. Bro, there's like, I've tried other products, but none conceal the way this conceals. It's literally so good. This is actually how I'm able to kind of go without foundation is I just spot conceal. These gardeners are literally just right outside my window being disrespectful. Let me drink some kombucha and calm down. I don't know about y'all, but I have been loving kind of putting all my time, effort, energy, money into making sure I'm happy with my actual skin and less on buying like a bunch of foundations to use to like cover it all up. You know what I mean? I like my skin just lately. I don't know. This is just my vibe now. I just love a good light foundation free face. I like for my little freckles on my nose to show through and stuff, you know? So once we're all concealed. We're going in with Miss Vanessa Myricks. Let me tell you something about this product. I freaking love it. I think you guys know it. So that NARS concealer plus this blurring balm powder, this is literally just like a primer, but because it does have a little bit of color to it, like it's adding to my skin, but it's not really covering it up because it's super, super lightweight but the color that it has first of all it's a beautiful color i wear shade number seven and it really just helps to give you the appearance of just more evened out skin do you see the difference how it just did some magic for me and i want to show y'all you can literally see all my freckles so again it's not much about coverage it's about I don't know. I just I just call it magic for my skin. I freaking love it. Now we gotta brighten these under eyes and I'm trying to find my concealer. Where is it? I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer. So first like directly on the inner parts, I like to use shade 10. Then I go in with shade 11. And then of course we blend. So I'm specifically not using colors that are super super light like i'm using colors that are slightly lighter than my skin tone but i would say only like maybe one shade up um for like a glam look you typically go like two or even sometimes three shades lighter than your natural skin tone to give that really highlighted effect but i'm really not going for that with this i just am looking for slight brightening to kind of wake us up a little bit but still look very very natural 
and we we're already arriving we're already arriving whenever i put on just a little bit of concealer under the eyes like look at how much of a difference that makes i genuinely feel so pretty right now i don't know if it's the hair i don't know if it's because the skin is skinning I don't know if it's concealer, it's probably all of the above because I don't know, I just feel cute. It doesn't really take much, you know. I'm working on my self-confidence. I'm working on that, that talk. You know those people in life where they're like, I'm that girl and they say it consistently, not specifically I'm that girl, but like they just speak with so much confidence, like almost like annoyingly. I want to be that person or I want that level of confidence. If you hear me talking a little bit more highly of myself on my channel, y'all know. Ooh, actually, I'm also gonna take some more of the excess of the concealer and apply some eyelids as well. All right, now you guys, I tried the Beauty Bakery setting powder for the first time the other day and I was shook. The only thing I have to say is this does have titanium dioxide in it, which is normally all fine and dandy, but when it's in powder form, it can be carcinogenic to breathe it in. So I kind of like to hold my breath just to be on the safe side, you know, to make sure that I'm not breathing in any carcinogens. Um, but the way this powder works is really nice. So I'm trying not to use it often, but today I'm gonna show you guys how it works because it is beautiful. So this is the shade yellow, just yellow. It's literally a yellow powder. Let's take a little on the sponge. <gasps> Do y'all see a difference? Airbrushed and set. Not airbrushed and not set. Whatever excess powder we have, I'm just putting it on my chin. All right, literally, we're halfway there. And I love that. Okay, now, this is my favorite product of the entire video. If you like cream blush, you absolutely, immediately, 100% need this product, the Danessa Myricks. So it's basically like a colored or like a, a, yeah, a colored version of this. It has like the same exact feel and finish of this, but they made these in like cheek colors. And these are my two favorite colors. And I actually sometimes like to use both. We might do that today. This is called Jubilee. And then this shade, this bright coral is called Golden Hour. These together are amazing. Separately, also amazing. So I'm just gonna go in with Jubilee first, that terracotta shade. First of all, hello pigment. There's certain things in this life that make me very happy. A successful wash and go, you try a new hairstyle and it comes out cute. Also cream blush that looks like this. Yeah, it makes me very, very happy. I know it's slightly giving like clown vibes a little bit, but just wait, it's coming together. Are you kidding me? I actually don't feel like I need to add another color today. Blush is the new bronzer. This is why I was like, I need to come on here and film this for y'all because look at how quick, easy, and simple this look is coming together. This next step is optional. I like to do it sometimes if I want a little extra airbrush, a little extra setting. If I'm fine being dewy, then I kind of just leave it like this and move on to my eyes and lips and call it a day. But today I'm gonna apply a little bit of the Fenty Powder Foundation. I know I said foundation free, but I kind of use it as like another setting powder. So I'm just applying it just in these areas, a little under the eye and underneath the blush. Basically everywhere I didn't apply the blush. <laughs> so you can kind of see the difference. Like we still have some shine and some dew coming through, but it's like more airbrushed and pretty. All right, then I am actually gonna grab some bronzer, but not for my cheeks, for these eyes. I just, I don't even bother with uh, eyeshadow palettes anymore. <laughs> I just literally grab my bronzer and just literally slap some on. Just just slap it on, just kind of swipe it all over. Bring it out a little bit if you're for a little extra razzle dazzle. Okay, so literally all that's left is to figure out what we wanna do with lashes and what we wanna do with these lips and that's it. And I think we already know what we wanna do with my lips. I'm just gonna go with the regular brown lip liner, a little pink on the inside, gloss on top, very quick and easy. But these lashes, I'm trying to decide what direction I want to go in. So we could either go A, extremely casual, extremely just super chill and grab some mascara. Or B, I could show y'all some new lashes that will change your life. I think I'm gonna do B. <laughs> so my girl Casey put me on to these lashes. 
So if you guys remember, I tried a false scour on here with you guys. If you didn't see that video, I'll link it somewhere up here and in the description box below in case you want to go ahead and check it out. But basically, if you don't know, false scour is like Kiss's version of um, at home lash extensions. They were great, they were fun, they were beautiful, but these are top notch. So same kind of thing, I actually still use the Kiss Bond and Seal, and I use the Kiss Remover as well to remove them when I'm ready. But the design of these are so beautiful! Let me just show y'all, because these are so, so pretty. So I'm just going in with the Kiss Bond at the base of my eye, and I actually do section by section. First time I did this, I was doing it all over and then it would dry and then it would just be a hot mess. So you just apply the bond and then apply the lash on top of it and it sticks to it. It's actually really, really easy. The thing I also love about these lashes from Amazon, it goes from, there's eight, 10, 12, 14, and 16. They're all different lengths. I wear two 14s, a 12, and a 10 usually gets me all together so here we go again for the next section just applying a little bond at the base grab the lash i'm doing another 14 stick it on top of the bond boom y'all see it happening genuinely these make me feel so pretty gone are the days of paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars to go and get lash extensions you know what I didn't like about when I used to get lash extensions? I feel like mine at least, I don't know, maybe I sleep crazy or whatever, but I just feel like mine looks good for about a week and then you would just start having some bald spots in your lashes and I hated that. And honestly, here's a secret. Once you have some nice lashes, especially if you have like regular lashes, your natural lashes are like really beautiful. Once you have some beautiful lashes, who cares what the rest of your face looks like, honestly. <laughs> The lashes just do it every single time. And then all I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes so they don't look a little naked. Like I don't even feel the need for any eyeliner today either. Just a little mascara on the bottom lashes. Um, so then this part y'all know very well because I do basically the same lip combo almost all the time. I know y'all are probably tired of seeing this. Uh, so the Rare Beauty lip liner in the shade Strong. I'm like tired of saying it because I say it so often. <laughs> I mean, this is why. So for the inside Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade Wifey. And then we just top her off with some Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Sweet Mouth. This is the summer look right here. I'm so content with this. And the thing I like about this routine is you can like add more, a little more sometimes and add a little bit less. My complexion routine literally basically stays the same every single time, but sometimes I play around with layering two different types of blushes. Sometimes I play around with a different lip combo. Lashes for the most part, this is what I'm absolutely obsessed with. Um, but even sometimes on the eye though, like if I wanna play around with some graphic liner, add a little bit more of like a smoky vibe on the under eye or upper eye, whatever. Like you can have slightly different variations of it, but still keep it nice and simple and light and and fresh and just beautiful and honestly she works for both daytime and nighttime tried it tested and true and I just feel like this is gonna be my routine for a minute and I wanted to come on and share with y'all because it makes me feel so pretty and when I feel pretty I feel good I look good and I'll be good and I'm just my best self let me know in the comments what y'all think would y'all try this look would you do anything a little bit differently if there are any new makeup products that y'all think i should give a try let me know because i'm always willing to spend more money than i need to at sephora as always i've linked everything for y'all in the description box below so y'all can go ahead and shop to your heart's content you're welcome but anyways thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this as much as i did i will catch y'all right back here same time same place for another video in the meantime come chat with me in the comments okay bye